afternoon to YouTube. Here with you on a Saturday. As you can see, I have my uh, material to use for the uh, clamps. This is a, a foam. I use this for my heater on my Buick to go around that to insulate it on the firewall. So that should work out pretty good. I couldn't find the, the rubber hose. It's out there somewhere. It's just <laughs> Kylie has taken to uh, clean everything up and uh, I can't find anything out there. So <laughs> you guys know how that is. All right, let me uh, let me put the uh, antenna up here and let's take a look and see how well it does. So hang on a second. All right, there you can see. Now it's uh, it does move a little bit, but you know you don't expect it to be totally totally clamped down. Like I say, that's that's gonna be fine. Put one of them on each side, and I still have to get the uh, sand or whatever it is out of these hula hoop and run a wire around it. But uh, yeah, that'll work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with this project and get it ready. But yeah. It's not against, you know, I've got it away from everything up there. It's nothing holding it up. It's just this is holding it straight up. So that will work just great. All right. So let me bring you back when I get some more done. All right. Well, what we have here is the, uh, the uh, antenna, the hula loop. It's kind of all... It's adjustable, obviously. It can be moved pretty easily. But yet, it's still rigid enough to hold the, the antenna loop itself up. And I like that. I like that a lot. And I just need to feed a wire through it. And that should be pretty fairly easy to do. It's just smooth inside there, I assume. And uh, we'll do that and bring you back for that. So hang in there. Alright, as you can see, we have... Two nice little wires fed through the, uh, well, actually one wire going through the whole loop. You can pull one in, pull the other in, doesn't matter. Like I say, there there she is. Now this is 20 gauge solid wire is what this is. So I think that should be fine. And uh, happy with that. And we, uh, we could actually test it now if I wanted to. Um, I'll get to the balm and just see what it does. The, the guy that did this originally said that it worked pretty good just on its own without the amplifier. But uh, to, in order to give it a good test, I'd like to try it with the amplifier. Maybe try it without the amplifier and with the amplifier, see what kind of difference that makes. That might be a good idea. All right, there's the, uh, you know, I'm going to take a picture of it back a little bit further back. If I can do that with this camera, let me get off here in a second and we'll try that. Alright, there you see the far back, far back look of the uh, loop. And that's what it's going to be, what I'm going to be using it for. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, like I said, is go ahead and pick it up to the balance and test it and see what it does. I think that's a good idea. We'll do a, a daytime test and maybe even a nighttime test because it's going to take me a while to build that amplifier. Not that I don't have the stuff, it's just a, a project that takes a while. So, Alright, get off there and we'll bring you back with some maybe result, results of it. Alright, well this is going to be our test setup. You can see the uh, loop is sitting on the stereo there. And I'll hook the wire up and there's the laptop down there. And we'll hit the dong dongle in there and we'll play with it and see what we can get. Hang in there. All right, uh, well, we're, we got 8.40 on the loop. That's uh, first really one I really tried. I haven't tried. There's other stations around. This is our strong station here. That's uh, actually coming in too strong. Let's see what else we got here. Nothing there. Nothing there. 
I think this is 840 again. Yep. Got this one here. Nothing there. Anyway, you can see it picks up better. It's 10 10. And again, this is without the uh, amplifier. Uh, I think it's pretty, pretty darn good, actually. So, let's see if I can get this a little bit more spread out. There's our 1390. You can see how big that thing looks. So there's that one. Let's see what this one looks like. That must just be a computer or something. Noise. Uh, let's see. Go down this way. And it's another noise signal. No, oh, 1010. I'm not sure what that would be. There's 840. Like you saw where the antenna was at, just sitting in front of the window there on the stereo. I had to do a little rigging to get it. Apparently the uh, cable they sent it's just a, a pass-through type cable. It's a male on one end, female on the other. And the dongle, or the uh, ballon, uh, has a, a male or female, whichever it is. I don't know which one it is. But it's the same as the uh, dongle output. So I have to have a gender changer, changer to use that cable properly. Right now I've got clip leaded on the grounds and a, a wire running between the center connectors, which uh, works. But uh, it's not very stable. If I move anything, it falls apart. So. <laughs> but I wanted to try it, and that's, uh, that's how you do that sometimes. Let's see. 40. That's 700 WLW. Not very clear. 40 is about the best one. Oh, we got one here. See what this is. Not much of anything. Five seventy. Five eighty. It must be a spurious signal because it's. Not a radio signal. It would be at 10 kilohertz. If it were. That's the same one. So, something here. That's a kind of a odd looking signal. That's in there though. Let's go back to our 1390 should have been sharing that with us all along. Their investigation showing no evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia.